Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $102,650.64. In the past year, I am currently up $28,143.33. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $10,552.65. On Friday, I was up quite a bit. I think I was up like about $2,000. And I didn't make a video on Friday because I was busy with other things, but that's what happened. I gained about $2,000 on Friday. That's why I'm at where I'm at right now. And then it looks like today, or rather, you know, today's Sunday at night. Um, but after hours, I'm up another $483.99. So about $500 up um, over the weekend. So I'm right now I'm at rounding up, you know, 103,000, which is nice. If we look at where I'm at in the past month, finally, I'm green again for the past month. As you can see, I got up to quite a lot, like 107,000. And then there was a sharp drop all the way down to 84K. But since then, as you can see, my portfolio has steadily risen up again. So. Um, now I'm green for the past month, which is good because I was red for a long time. I was red for the past month do this, this sharp drop right here. Um, but now I'm green again for the past month. So that's good. All right, let's go over my positions for my options. I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return $138. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return $84. I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return $52. I'm selling SoFi $8.5 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return zero. I have a target diagonal spread. I bought the target $100 call expiring December 19th, 2025, and I'm selling the target $140 call expiring August 30th of this year. My total return $225. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return $4. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $58. I'm selling Disney $95 calls. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $85. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $360. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $2,320. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $853. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, zero. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $1,861. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $176.93. My average cost, $98.94. My total return, $23,403.04. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.63. 
my average cost $5.62, my total return $12,040.80. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $90.70. My average cost $67.50. My total return $9,280. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $165.52. My average cost $142.48. My total return $2,304. This is a margin account. My margin total is $86,412. Sorry, $86,412.54. My margin use is $61,726.70. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with $2,685.84 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $27,259 and 31 cents this is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest I am paying is $11.05 and I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So yeah, I'm back at 103,000, which I'm really happy about. There are four positions that expire at the end of this week on Friday. So August 30th is the, this week. Uh, Friday and right now all of these covered calls the underlying share price is below the strike prices that I chose so Amazon is below 185 Disney is below 95 Google is below 170 and SoFi is below eight and a half dollars so I think if things stay the way they are right now I'm just going to collect the premium and keep my shares and I do want to keep all of these um, in terms of shares so if any of these positions were to, you know, cross over the strike price I chose, I would just roll them out to a further expiration date and a further, um, you know, a higher strike price just to keep my shares. Um, another thing to note, so my diagonal spread, the target 140 call that I'm selling expires August 30th also. So this position uh, in total, I'm going to get rid of it. I was also thinking about, is there a possibility I could just get rid of the, the call that I'm selling and maybe roll it out or something and then, you know, just keep the target $100 call expiring in 2025 and then maybe sell other calls uh, at a further expiration date to gain more premium from that. But I don't know. I think I might just just get, get rid of this entire diagonal spread as a whole and just take the money. I did gain about 5% in the span of like, you know, one week. So, um, I'm very happy about that. Considering I'm only up like 10% for the entire year so far to gain almost, you know, above 5% in, uh, the span of a week. I'm very happy with those, uh, results. So I might just, uh, get rid of the entire spread as a whole and then uh, take that money and use it elsewhere. Other than that, ooh, something that I'm really salty about. And I made the mistake, but I didn't know that McDonald's would just keep on going up by this much. Right now, McDonald's is at $289.35. And if we look at what's happened so far this year, they did go down all the way down to like $245. But since then, my goodness, they went from $245 all the way to close to $300 now. Um, so they've been on an amazing run up about 12% in the past three months. But yeah, I did, I was not expecting them to go up by that much. Um, but they have. And unfortunately I chose strike prices that are dangerously close to where it is now. So, you know, $300, 310 for my call credit spreads. And because of that, as you can see, I'm down over $2,000 from this call credit spread. If I had chosen, you know, much higher strike prices, maybe like 350 or something, you know, but then again, I, there's downsides to that also, which is, um, you know, making less premium. But yeah, it, it's a trade-off. But with the way things have worked out, 
if McDonald's were to actually go up above $300, I think I might have to roll this out to spread out, uh, change the strike prices. Mm, I can't really change the expiration date because this is part of an iron condor. Um, I have the other side of it, the put credit spreads expiring on the same date. So the 210 and the 200 put credit spreads, the other half of the iron condor. Um, so unfortunately I can't just, well, unless I get rid of the whole thing, then choose a completely different, uh, position. But no, I, I would have to, um, just choose a different strike price, but keep the same expiration date. We'll see. Uh, right now it's, it's not ideal, you know, because I didn't want McDonald's to go up by that much in that time. Um, yeah. Now, if for some reason it actually does stay below 300 from now until December, um, then I have nothing to worry about. I'll just gain the maximum profit even, but it's getting dangerously close. Um, so I'm a little bit worried about this one. Other than that, nothing really else to be alarmed about. I have an iron condor on Amazon, but it's within the range. It's at 176, so, you know, it, it's above the 140 and below the 200, um, which is what I want. Same thing with my Verizon. I mean, right now it's hovering around 41. Yeah, Verizon's 41 dollars per share right now, which means it's in between the strike prices I chose, 35 and 47. So assuming that things continue this way, I'll gain the maximum profit on my Verizon Iron Condor as well. Disney, okay. So I do have the $70 call expiring at the end of 2025, which is very long from now. Um, and the break even price is like 93, right? Because I, um, that's the current price, but yeah, the average cost was only $23. So $23, uh, $70 strike price. So about 93 break even. Yeah. $93 and 40 cents break even. And Disney's pretty close. It's at 90 right now. So uh, we'll see what happens. And the fact that I'm selling a call against this as well. It's going to be profitable as long as things don't go horribly wrong and Disney crashes all the way to like $70 or something. Uh, let's hope that doesn't happen. But for now, no need to be alarmed. Uh, it, it's fine the way it is. But since this expires in October, um, I'll need to decide what I want to do afterwards. Probably just going to sell another call. Um, expiring maybe in December after this one uh, expires. So we'll see. But yeah, other than the fact that McDonald's is getting dangerously close to $300 per share, I don't really have anything else to, you know, point out to be alarmed about. And I'm just going to just keep on doing what I'm doing and I'll keep on making more updates. So you guys can see what's happening with my portfolio. Um, if things go up, if things go down, we'll see. But for now, that's all I have to report. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, and if you, guys, if you guys do like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I will keep on making more of these videos. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.